Angie here from Eugene Nail Art. Uh, we call this tips and tricks, just some little tips and pointers for you on how to use your nail polish and how to maintain them. Uh, most important thing is to remember that it is nail polish, so begin by always shaking the tubes very well. There's a little ball bearing in there that will make sure that your nail polish is the right consistency before using it. Hold the bottle in an upright position when you twist the cap, that way you ensure that you're not spilling the nail polish out of the tube. And the little brush is used to paint your nails a solid color before you begin decorating with it. Notice that when I go to put the lid back on, we squeeze gently on the tube. You don't want to squeeze too much, but just enough to release any air that might have gotten into the bottle. And as I'm screwing on the lid, I'm still squeezing. When the lid's on tight, you can now release the pressure. And that will ensure that the nail polish isn't oozing out of your nail polish tubes when you're not squeezing it. Uh, on the portion where there's the actual cap that pulls off is where you'll find your little tip for decorating. It's our pen tip and you'll notice that when you're using these pen tips the more you squeeze the more nail polish comes out and onto your fingernails. So squeeze gently on the color and that will release the flow of the nail polish. When you're finished using it and you go to put the caps back on, notice on the inside of the cap there, there's a little round circle. So if I try to put my cap on too quickly, it doesn't actually fit on properly. You wanna make sure that you always put it on gently, no resistance, and then apply your cap tightly. Um, if you do find any resistance, don't force it. Just wiggle until it fits in there nicely. When you're finished using your Miji nail polish, we I always recommend that you clean the tips of it. I use pure acetone nail polish remover. You can use any type of nail polish remover that you can purchase at any pharmacy or drugstore. And just with a Kleenex and some nail polish remover, just wipe all of your tips off and that will ensure that the nail polish doesn't clog on the inside of the metal tips and that will always keep them clean and ready to use the next time. However, if you do forget and you find that you go to use your nail polish and nothing is coming out of it, don't try and force it there's a little uh, tool on the inside of all of our instruction booklets. Flip to the very center page and you'll notice that there's an actual pen just attached in there. Release the pen <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is just quickly insert it into the tip of my pen tip now and if you ever find when they're new nothing's coming out just start by priming it which is just pumping it back and forth if it's clogged now you'll find that when you go to squeeze on it the nail polish will flow nicely um, one last thing that I do want to point out with our nail polish <clears throat> is that all of our pens come with a lifetime of replacements and free refills so should you ever misplace a cap or uh, damage a tip or you ever find that you run out of nail polish and you really like that color you can contact us at www.mijinailart for extra colors and remember that all of our bottles come apart with a nice little twist there the little silver ring attaches them that allows you to have them freestanding when you need to paint your nails.